Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really fun chemical reaction cars that is upcycled from a plastic water bottle and some plastic caps and a few other parts and I'll show you first what you need. You need a plastic water bottle. I like using these Fiji ones because they're a little bit squared off. They work a little bit better but if you don't have it uh, you can use a round one too. You need a bamboo skewer. This is about a 10 inch long skewer, which is the perfect, perfect length. A paper straw. Uh, if you have a plastic one, you can use that too. Uh, we're trying to move towards paper straws because they're better for the environment. You need some duct tape. A pair of scissors. Some plastic caps. Be sure to grab, these are upcycled from some bottles. Be sure to grab four that are the same size because these are going to be your wheels. You need a few, you need four pony beads and these are going to help you build your axle. Whoa, there went one. Um, and the last thing that you need is a glue gun. Now, safety note here, uh, parental supervision recommended when using a glue gun. These get really hot and they can burn. Um, if you'd rather, I'll give you some uh, recommendations for other ways to do it without a glue gun and um, some other glues you can use. All right, let's get started. First up, let's build our first axle. What you're going to do is you are going to take one of your wheels and you're going to grab one of your pony beads and you're going to put a little dollop of hot glue right in the center like that and you're going to drop a pony bead in the middle there and you're going to let that that cool and dry the reason i like to use pony beads here is it really helps secure your axle okay the next thing you're going to do is you're going to just chop this straw in half it's not perfect don't stress oh that's really not perfect but don't worry chop off now it's perfect then you're gonna grab your skewer and you're gonna put your skewer and my cat is just um, about to photobomb this video here so <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> all right see you later cat I love you but we're making cars here today and what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your bamboo skewer about one inch longer than your straw section. And there went my bamboo skewer. And my cat is a shaking things. So, and here you have the first parts of your axle. Okay, this should be about dry now. So what you're gonna do to add the axle to your wheel we're talking simple machines here wheels you're gonna put a little daub of glue right in the middle of that pony bead and you're gonna take your bamboo skewer and you're gonna stick it inside see so it's gonna go like this and then nice and centered and you're gonna let that that cool off a little bit. I'm going to take the other wheel. I forgot to do this one. I'm going to put the pony bead on here while that other one is drying and pop that in there. So when this is cool enough that it's not really wobbly or anything and this isn't, isn't tacky, tacky as in sticky you're going to take one of your straws and you're going to put it on the bamboo skewer this is making your axle so if you just use the bamboo skewer the wheel couldn't turn because you're going to tape this onto your water bottle so you have to have something to attach to the water bottle that is secure but still lets the wheel turn that's how you're doing it like this okay so then you got that whoops there that went 
pop that back in there. I'm going to put one more glob of glue inside. Oh, and I said I would talk about alternate glues. If you don't want to use a hot glue gun, you can use uh, E6000 glue. It is super secure, especially when you're trying to make a car. And you're going to stick that other end of your bamboo skewer right into that pony bead. And you want to hold it a little bit just to make sure that you can keep this straight. So do, 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 you let it cool a little bit and then you um, can then rest it up like that and let it dry. Then I'm going to show you how to attach your axles to your water bottle. So I'm just going to, so you can see how these are freely moving and spinning. I'm going to flip it over and you'll see. All I did was take a piece of duct tape and secure these paper straws to the water bottle. Super easy. I did a lot of different tests on this. I used glue and things like that. The duct tape seems to be the most secure and helps give the most uh, straight riding uh, car. Because one thing you'll notice when you actually um, set these off with a chemical reaction, there's a lot of trial and error in this. And don't worry, trial and error can be super fun. My family hasn't laughed this hard in a long time. So tape on your axles and then you're good to go. There's one last step. What's going to fire your bottle is a chemical reaction between baking soda and vinegar, which produces a gas and builds up pressure. And that gas will then ultimately shoot out, as well as some vinegar, shoot out a hole in this bottle, causing the car to move. To get the hole, there's a really easy way to do this. Again, parent supervision. Grab your cap and the tip of your hot glue gun and press. And you saw that little bump? Look, magic hole. You just melted a hole in your cap. So now you have, you're gonna pop that on, you have a car all ready to go. I'm gonna go grab all the supplies of how we, um, that we use to fire this wheel, and I'll be right back. All right, are you ready to fire this little car off? Here's what you need. You need baking soda, a base, vinegar, and acid. And when these two go into the car, when you're all ready to fire it outside, it gets a little messy. The base and the acid combine and they create a gas called carbon dioxide. When that gas is created in this bottle, the pressure builds and all that pressure wants to fire out of this hole. So as the reaction happens, vinegar, carbon dioxide, a little bit of baking soda starts to fire out the hole, creating a great force. And an equal and opposite force causes the car to head that way. So I'm going to show you how to, the best way to slow down your reaction. Because basically what you have to do is you have to get the vinegar in the, in the bottle and the baking soda in the bottle. And then the cap closed before it fires all over you. And this is really hilarious, super messy, but head outside and you'll have so much fun. Um, so what you're going to do is you're actually going to create a little package of baking soda. You're going to pour about one cup of vinegar into your bottle and then you're going to add some baking soda to a little piece of tissue paper and you're going to create a little rolled up present and you're going to fold these two sides in like this and when you're outside you're going to open up your bottle like this your vinegar is already inside and you're going to shove this in really quickly. Oh my gosh, super fast. And then you're going to close it. And if it, and then you're going to put it on the ground. If it's not doing anything, cover the hole, give it a little shake, and it will start flying. This, when the vinegar gets the tissue paper wet, then it starts off the reaction and we'll get going. So we're going to head outside and I'm going to show you some of our fun attempts and hope you have a ton of fun with this too. 
Have a great day. Hope you're loving Steam Explorers. Bye. Baby.